your old friend? My name is Miss Tina. What's your name? Hi! I'm so glad that we get to do church together. Boys and girls, I have an important question that I want to teach you the answer to. Are you ready? It goes like this. Who can trust God? And the answer is, I can trust God. Will you try that with me? Who can trust God? I can trust God. That's right, my friends. Well, now it is time for us to stand up, put the toys down, and get ready to use our whole body to sing and dance and jump and clap and worship our great big God. Let's count down together. Here we go.
friends, I'm Zoe, and I love painting fun pictures. What do you think I should paint today? Ooh, that sounds fun. I know. Maybe if I listen to some music, I can get more ideas from that. Music player Melody? Yes? Play some fun music. What kind of music? I don't know. Surprise me. Playing music. Ooh, this is pretty. It sounds like water. This one sounds like an elephant stomping around. I think I hear a train. Do you hear a train? That one sounds like a bird flying around. I'm gonna use orange. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Painting what the music plays, are you? Hi, Ollie. I think this music might sound just like you. Painting to music is fun. It's true. And I have another story about music for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Look at these fun music cupcakes. <laughs> they have music notes on them because our story today has music in it. If you're ready on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. This story is all about how you can trust that God is with you. It starts with a king named King Nebuchadnezzar. Can you say that? neb a ka nezer Try it! neb a ka nezer Good job! And here he comes! King Nebuchadnezzar thought he was the very best king there ever was, and he wanted everyone to know it. One day, he had a giant idea. Now when I say giant, I mean giant. Look! King Nebuchadnezzar made a huge golden statue of himself. Then he told all the people in the kingdom to gather around, and he said that every time the music played, <clears throat> every time the music played, I guess we need a little music. Can you guys help me out? Get out your pretend trumpets like this, and when I say the word music, you play. Ready? Music! <laughs> Perfect! Okay, trumpets down. So let's start that again. The king said that every time the music played, he wanted 
everyone to bow down to the statue. Great playing, everyone. Trumpets down. But here was the bad part. The king said, if you don't bow down, he would throw you into the fire. Whoa! And the king was serious. So each day, the music played, and everyone in the crowd bowed down. Wait, wait, stop the music. Not everyone is bowing. How many people do you see standing? Can you count them? One, two, three. Yes, there were three men that didn't bow. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were friends with God and knew that they should not bow down to anyone but the one true God. This made the king very mad. So he ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be thrown into the fire. Woo! If I were them, I would be so afraid. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted that God was with them. So when they went into the fire, everyone was very worried about them. But then something amazing happened. Look! <laughs> How many people do you see in the fire now? Let's count them. One, two, three, four! Four people! Someone else was in the fire. God had sent an angel to be in the fire with them. He protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That is amazing. And look at King Nebuchadnezzar. He's so surprised. And he said, guys, come out, come out of the fire. So the three men came out and they weren't hurt at all. Wow. <laughs> King Nebuchadnezzar was amazed that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had trusted God and that God had saved them. What a great story! God is amazing! God was always with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, even in the fire. And you can trust that God will always be with you too. I can trust God and you can trust God. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye! So there's your story. And it's all true. The men trusted God was always with them. And he's always with you and me, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God was always with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And made sure they were safe. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm so happy that I know that God is always with me no matter what music I'm painting to. Music player Melody, play more fun music. Playing music. I'll see you next time. Bye! Boys and girls, wasn't that a special true Bible story. I love that we can trust God. Do you remember the answer to that big question? Let's try it together. Who can trust God? I can trust God. That's right, my friends. And I have a Bible verse to teach you that's all about trusting in God. Would you like to hear it? Here it goes. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Now I'm going to say it a little bit at a time and I want you to be my echo. Here we go. You're going to point your hands up and say, trust in the Lord. Try it. Trust in the Lord. Now stretch your arms out as wide as you can and say, with all. Here we go. 
with all. And now put your hands right here to your heart and say, your heart. Try that. Your heart. Good job. Now show me your Bible and say, Proverbs. Try that. Proverbs. And the numbers are three, five. Let's do that. Three, five. All right, my two-year-old friends, can we put it all together? Remember, we start by pointing up. Here we go. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Nice job, boys and girls. Before we go, let's pray together our special prayer that we always pray. Fold your hands, bow your heads, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for making me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for sending Jesus to be my friend forever. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. I'm so glad that we get to do church together. I'll see you back here next week. I love you, friends. Bye.